Welcome to Marina's Kitchen. Today I'm going to make some lintol croquettes. Uh, they're very easy and it's a good vegetarian dish. Uh, by the way, I'm still wearing my apron that Cargo Crew uh, embroidered for me. Uh, my granddaughter Katrina works for them in Melbourne and she asked them to make me an apron with my name on it. So thank you very much Cargo Crew. They embroidered a lot of uniforms and different things for different companies. So thank you very much, I'm still wearing it. Okay, so now what we need here, I'm going to make these beautiful lintol croquettes. They are such a good vegetarian dish also because we've got no meat in it. Now what we started with, I boiled two medium sized potatoes and I boiled them and I mashed them up. All after I cooked half a cup of lintols and when you cook half a cup of lintols you get a, the double of amount. So we've got a good cup of lintols there which goes all in there. Mix it all up together, okay? And uh, now I, I've grated a carrot. I've grated a carrot and that goes in there also. And uh, I've grated uh, I've grated a couple of medium sized onions. I've just grated them with the grater there like that. And uh, we'll just put that aside there. And that goes in there too, that beautiful onion in there. And uh, I've got half a cup of grated ch Parmesan cheese. And I've got some, look, just mix that all together. That makes it beautiful, beautiful croquettes and lintols. Very healthy for you. And I've got some nice parsley here. I'm going to put in some lovely parsley in there. I've got this lovely parsley in my garden, so I've got plenty of parsley. And then we're going to dip them in the, the flour and the egg and the breadcrumbs. In the breadcrumbs, now I'm just going to put some salt in this. And I'm going to put a bit of salt in the breadcrumbs, just a little bit. And I'm going to put some nice pepper in this. Lovely lot of nice pepper will go lovely with that. And I'm going to put some pepper in the breadcrumbs. Lovely. I'm going to put a little bit of turmeric in the breadcrumbs. I've got here a cup of normal breadcrumbs and a cup of panko breadcrumbs. I'm going to dip them there. I've got a little bit of turmeric in, just a little bit of a sprinkle. It gives it a little bit more extra flavour. Just mix that all up together like that. Lovely. Now, I'm just going to mix this all together. Beautiful. Lovely mixture of carrot, lintols, potato, onion. It gives it a lovely flavour. And I'm going to deep fry them in my in my pan there. Okay, so what we do, look, just put them all together like that. And that potato and that the lintols, they are so beautiful, these. You can eat them cold or hot. You can prepare them beforehand. You can roll them all up and get them, put them in the fridge and then you can just fry them up any time you want to. Uh, so what we do is get a handful of and dip it in the flour and in the egg. That's what you'll have to do, okay? So what you do is put it in the flour, in the egg, and then in the breadcrumbs. We've done that, okay? So I'm going to put my war, my oil on, okay? Just got some lovely deep frying oil there. Now just put that in your hand like that. Make a little croquette on it like that. Look easy like that. Put it in the flour. Put in the egg, and then we're going to deep fry them. Just put them aside there like that. Put them in the breadcrumbs. Beautiful, that's how they are, okay? Just lovely, lovely little croquettes. Just put them there like that. Put another one in your hand. About a good tablespoon full, just to make a nice little croquette like that. Put it in the flour. Put it in the egg, put it in the breadcrumbs, and you've got a nice little croquette there, okay? Look, beautiful. You don't want to get them too big, just get a little handful, just enough so that you can just handle it, and put a little in the flour, put them in the egg, and in the breadcrumbs and then we can just deep fry them. You can prepare these beforehand, put them in the fridge, you know, on a tray, 
and then you can deep fry them any time you want to. So just keep on doing the same thing. You get quite a few out of it, about 14 or 16 out of it. Look, just put that on there. Put that in the egg, in the breadcrumbs. Very easy, very quick. Just roll it up like that. And I'm going to make another one. I'm going to start deep frying them up because my oil is getting hot. Just see, just put it in the flour like that, in the egg, in the breadcrumbs. I've got panko breadcrumbs here and the plain breadcrumbs. I've got the salted pepper in it. And look, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to keep on frying them now. I'll just wash my hands. Just keep on doing the same thing with all of them and I'm going to deep fry mine. There you go, just put it on the hot oil. Just put them in the hot oil like that and they're beautiful. They are such a lovely vegetarian dish. Beautiful. Just you can either deep fry them in a saucepan, but I'm going to just show you this. I'll just deep fry them here. When they get brown, you can turn them over. They don't take long to cook. They take very quickly because everything is cooked. We've just got that onion and that carrot through it. And uh, it's just a lovely to give it a lovely crust on the outside. But look, it's beautiful. Just turn them around when you get it nice and brown. That the oil has got to be nice and hot. It's a lovely vegetarian dish, beautiful. The lintels are so good for you. And look, I've got the carrot in there, I've got the potato in there. Aren't they beautiful? Look. And they make a lovely dish even just to have them with a salad. They're beautiful. Look, I've got, I've got five there and you could make at least another nine or ten so you get a good 16 out of them. And uh, look, they'll keep in the fridge if you don't want to use them up all at once. And look, they didn't take long to cook because everything is cooked except the onion and the carrot, but that won't take long to cook. So just put everything in together like that. Beautiful. They don't take long. They're lovely and crispy. And that's it. It's very quick, very easy. Lovely vegetarian dish. I'm going to switch that off now because that is really beautiful. So all you've got to do is put it in the flour, in the egg, and in the breadcrumbs. So just take them out like that. Look, I'm going to put uh, a sheet of, of paper towel underneath. They are beautiful. They are so good for you because you've got that lovely lint tiles. Look, aren't they lovely? They are beautiful. All you've got, you've got that mashed potato, the carrot, the onion, the lint tiles. Cook your lint tiles. If you cook half a cup of the lint tiles, it swells up to about one cup of the lint tiles. Just pour them in there. Salt, pepper, the grated cheese, the onion and the parsley and you've got a beautiful vegetarian cro lintile croquettes. Look at them, they're beautiful. Look nice and firm, lovely, look at them. And they're lovely to eat because you've got that lovely potato in. And I've, I've mixed up some, a cup of breadcrumbs and a cup of panko breadcrumbs in there. We put the salt and pepper and some turmeric in there just to give it a little bit of extra flavour. Look, I'm going to taste one. Mmm. That is lovely. You've got that beautiful potato in there with that lintiles. This is beautiful. So look, it's something very easy. A vegetarian dish, very quick. Just mash up two medium-sized potatoes, a carrot, two onions, grated. The onion gives it that extra flavour through it. You can boil the lintiles any time and then have them just in a container and keep them. You boil a half a cup and you, you get about a cup because when they boil they just swell up. And just roll them in the flour, the egg and the breadcrumbs and deep fry them. They're beautiful. They're very quick. Thank you. Go, 
cargo crew for my apron and I hope you all have a good Easter. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you. Bye.